All right, guys. Mounted troop defending blaze on set. But just real quick, I want to say this is the third video I've made in the last like 12 hours. I don't know. Sometimes I just I go a week without making a video, and then I'll make like three or four videos in a couple of days. So the third one today. That's when I get on the game. People start asking me questions, talking about stuff. It gives me an idea to make another video. Cause I don't, I don't make a video unless I, uh, unless I get an idea of a video that I'm interested in, in making. Anyways, let's talk about blaze on sets real quick. So I have a full set of offensive and and defensive blaze ons. For all, for all my troop types, including mounted. So everything is, uh, that was ranged in ground. This is uh, both siege sets. So everything's level 15 or level 20. But for my mounted, so this is my mounted PVP set. This is my mounted monster set, but I, thank God, I wouldn't have been able to do this if they didn't have three presets at the top. But they get three, they only have two sets for each troop type, but they get three presets at the top, so I was able to do this. So I have a third. I have a third set. Four mounted. That you know the set bonuses aren't going to give you anything, but this is basically like if I, if I'm getting rallied, I go to my blazons, I change all my blazons to defensive, or if I'm sending out if I'm sending out like three different marches to reinforce three of my alliance members, I'll change all all four of my presets to my defending presets real quick. And then I'll then I'll send up my three marches, and then I'll swap them all back to attack. So you're gonna say, well, well, what is your what's your defending mounted troop? My defending mounted troop is all these blazons. Their initial stats were double defending. So like that one's pretty good. I took that to 20, right? Two defending and uh, mounted troop attack. Well, I took four of these to 20. Okay, that one's got triple defending, defense. This one has, okay, triple defending and then mounted troop hit points again. And this one is triple defending with marching. Okay, and then these two I did not take past 15. Okay, because that has in rally. But all, all six of these, oh, that, or actually, I could I can take I can take this one to twenty. I didn't even think about that. Because I'm uh I'm never sending my mounted troops to uh I'm never sending my mounted troops to like a building. and really, you know I'm never sending my mounted troops as reinforcements. Just uh, when I do, when I do send out my uh, all my reinforcements or whatever, I swap all my blazons to defensive because I do have mounted in all the layers, right? But um, so I guess that's why the the reason why I didn't take this to twenty yet is because I guess the only time it's important, like if I'm getting rallied, I I change all my presets to defending, and and I have a I have a mounted troop uh, defending set. So the, the thing the thing about this that kind of sucks and the reason why people might not have those blazons is uh you cannot get you cannot get double defending from the uh, the the dual attribute blazon chests. So the only way you can get the only way you can get the double defending is randomly from opening a shit ton of boxes, right? And the reason why I was saying that sucks is because, you know, you can only have, what is it, 1,500 now? Yeah, you can only have 1,500 at once. So, you know, you run out of your Blazon cores, like, pretty fast. So, like, in order to level up your Blazons, 
you got to figure out and go through all these goddamn level ones and use them to level up your blazons just so you can make more room to open up more blazon boxes to hope that you get, you know, the double marching or the double defending for your other defending sets. But while you're, while you're doing that, like this is the long game, right? Like if you're playing Ebony, you got to be playing for the long game. While you're doing that and you're crushing all those level ones and using that experience to level up, to level up your other, your, you know, your attack blaze on sets for PvP, which is what most people are probably doing, right? Um, if you think you might ever want to have a mounted defending set, like similar to what I just showed, don't um. You know, in the search functions, when, when you have mounted troop, when you have mounted troops selected, don't have don't have defending selected at the same time when you're in the upgrade section and, and you're using a ton of uh, blazons at once to uh, to level up one of your blazons, because the only way you get the, those double defending mounted troop blazons as a base to use to build off, you know. Is from opening a bunch of blaze on boxes, but um, like it makes a difference, you know. If you're if you're getting rallied, and you can you can add you know roughly a hundred and fifty percent defense hit points and attack to all your troops, including your mounted, um, you know it's worth doing because this is how much that's thirty two plus twenty eight. Well, I guess that's only uh, that's, that's only 60, so you get approximately 60, but then 60 again, so approximately 120%, so not 150%. You can get over 100%, though, attack, defense, and hit points for mounted, but then, but then for your other sets that actually do have, that actually do have real set act attributes, you you get some debuffs and you get some you get some other uh, you get some other percentages right yeah ground troop attack defense and hit points with two debuffs range troop attack defense and hit points with two other debuffs and then siege um, siege is actually really see, siege defending set is actually really nice because it's all troops attack. All troops defense debuffs. Um, so yeah, swapping, swapping to all the swapping to all those all together. You know, it's pretty nice. Like I, it would have taken me forever to do. Like I literally, like well, the amount of time it took me to level up all the blaze on and to go through, I had you know tens of thousands of blazons from that dragon battle like i mean something like twenty thousand blazons right um and that was just from i think it was 12 purchases i did and i did it the day before they shut it down because you know the the crazy thing about them changing that during the event is that you know the event's 12 days long most people do their purchases on the second weekend and that's when they changed it on. So like I did all my purchases on, I believe during that, I think it was day eight when you get the, your second triple down coupon. And they changed the fucking event on day nine. Like the Dragon's Battle was live. And like that, just not, not a lot of people realized because anyone that was going to do any package purchases... They do it on the second weekend, um, and then they they changed it on the second day of the second weekend. Like I literally did it. I literally did it the day before, and I only did um, what was it? I did twelve packs, and uh, I had used all my coupons or something like that because you get you you know you get your second triple down and your other ten double down coupons on the same day and uh 
I forget what it was, but I, looking back on it, I should have bought even more packs, regardless of the not having the double down or, or not. Just the pack by itself with no double was still like tremendously good because from 12 packs, I got something like, it was ridiculous. It was like, uh, uh, 800,000 rune stones and like 20,000 blood of Aries. But another thing that I got a shit ton of blades on is where I was able to complete all these sets. And, um, and I also got like a significant amount of gold. Like I, like I'm still, I'm still, uh, net positive, you know, 50 billion gold. Like I'm going to have I feel like I'm going to have, I have another like 5 billion in my inventory I haven't opened yet. I feel like I'm going to have like gold for whatever I need it for, for the foreseeable future, which is one resource I'm not going to have to worry about. But, um, yeah, you know, another, you know, I feel like I'm bragging a little bit about the Blazons and being able to, uh, I know a lot of people weren't able to take advantage of the Dragon's Battle because they found out like a day late. Most people probably found out that second weekend. They just, they literally shut it down like the very next day. So, I re that really sucks. Um, but, uh, oh, what I wanted to say was I was sitting on a t before before that before I even touched my blazons because they seem like so confusing between the list and having to use all these level ones to level up before you can even open up more so you can try to get some of the double attributes like it just seems so confusing that I I played the game for like six months or something before I even touched my blazons it just seemed like a pain in the balls. So the first time before I even went through any of my Blazons whatsoever, I had, you know, several thousand of them. So if you're someone like that, you know, this video might help you out. It might prevent you from uh, crushing any of those double defending Mounted Troop Blazons because a, a lot of people, because the Mounted Troops don't have a defending set. They have two attack sets, you know, one for monsters, one for PvP. People, you know, in the search functions when they're trying to use as many of those level ones as they can, just so they can create inventory space to to level up more, they might not think to not use the defensive mounted ones. Just like in the search function for any of the defensive stuff, don't have mounted and uh and uh, defensive, you know, selected at the same time when you're when you're go in the upgrade section, selecting a bunch of level ones automatically to upgrade a blaze on. If you ever want to make a uh, a defensive blaze on set for mounted with the with the double defending, which I would say is worth doing because I mean, range troop rallies is like the most popular attack in Ebony. Like, in all the major battlefields and all the whole rallying, reinforcing game, like, range troop, range troop rally is, like, the go-to. Like, people 10 billion and more power getting zeroed in one rally. It's, like, the go-to, like, so... You know, making a defending mounted troop blaze on set uh, would be uh, might be interesting to some people. Um, but again, like I said, you know, you're not going to be able to get. I was trying to search through my inventory, but I had some like screen lag or something, or maybe it's from uh, OB, running OBS. Okay, it's scrolling down now. You can't get the double defending for mounted from the uh, the dual attribute blaze on boxes. Yeah, dual attribute blaze on boxes. Like if I go to because because both you know it's just going to give you options for both their different sets, right? Like so you got hit points, defense, attack on monsters, 
and then the other one is uh, the PVP one is is marching. Everything is marching, so you can't get double defending for mounted from these boxes. Whereas for ranged double defending, right? For for ranged uh, ground and siege machines, since they have a defending set, you can get the double defending. I don't know where siege is. Must be on the other side of mounted, right? Yeah, you can get the double defending for them, which is, you know, that's that's how I got the base. That's how I got the base blaze on for a lot of my uh, for a lot of my blaze ons before I or for a lot of my uh, troops before I like it was difficult going through all those blaze ons at once. Like it took me days. Like it took me, you know. I don't know, a couple dozen hours or some shit. Like it took a fucking long goddamn time, but I got through it. I'm I'm never gonna have to touch this shit again. Like maybe I, I don't know, you know, maybe maybe once I have in a year from now and I have like 20 stacks of 400 or something, I might try to uh, I might try to uh. To, start over and get some of these level 15s to have four attributes but I'm I'm real happy where where I'm at yeah like oh that's range troop defending I took four five of those to 20 um yeah my range my ranged attack I only took two of them to 20 so a bunch of these must be uh yeah, their fourth, their fourth attribute is just useless in all these. Yeah, but they all, they all are starting with marching. They're all starting with double marching. What's this one? Oh, this one's starting with regular range troop attack, which is not preferable, but it hit, it hit marching twice. So that's actually, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna redo that. You know, your best, your best, uh, your, oh, I started out with regular range troop defense. This must have been before I knew what I was doing. The, the first thought I had about Blazons, like, early on was I just want to make one set so I don't have, I don't ever have to swap my Blazons or worry about it. And I want all four statistics to be like this, range troop defense. So it's, you know, it works on defense, it works on offense. That was my first thought about blaze ons. Just to be like super lazy. <laughs> just to be like super lazy and never have to worry about it again because the, the in-game functions to like change it and upgrade it like seem so like, what's the word? Is convoluted the right word? Overcomplicated? Well, that was my first thought on this. That, that's why I started out with just regular range troop defense. But, you know, end game, end game blaze ons, you want to start out with double marching on every, on all, on all your PVP marches, unless you're, unless you've been playing the game for like years and you're in an alliance that's, you know, top 10 on your continent, then you want to start out with double rallying. Which you can't get from. You can't get from the uh, the dual attribute blazons. But double march. I mean, double march. If you ever want to do solo attacks, double marching. Double marching is the way to go, because you can do solo attacks and you can do. Uh, you, and it works in rally too. Just the uh, the rally rallying range troop attack or whatever it, it has a little bit higher percentage than uh than marching but maybe not enough to care too much about all right guys thanks for watching this video if you watch if you watched uh all three of my videos i made today i appreciate that i could tell you're a fan i like you right off the bat all right thanks